fuels my passion for guns and self-defense, first and foremost, is my Christian faith. John Correa is not your average preacher. The former naval officer is the senior pastor at West Greenway Bible Church in Glendale, Arizona, and uses the Bible to justify Americans' rights to bear arms. A guided tour of the different firearms that I own, that would take a while. A running joke is, is that if you know how many firearms you own, you probably don't own enough. And the love of guns runs in the family. The evangelical Christian from Phoenix lives with his wife Laura and their three children, James, 15, himself an NRA apprentice instructor, Sarah, 12, who has her own shotgun, and eight-year-old Abby, who was recently given her very own pink Cricket 22 rifle for her birthday. John currently owns more than 20 weapons, including three brake-action shotguns, a Glock 19 handgun, and an AR-15 rifle, the weapon used in both the Sandy Hook and Colorado Theatre massacres. Every Sunday, 38-year-old John delivers sermons before a congregation. I wish that everybody got along. I wish that everybody was nice, but they're not. And until we get into that perfect world when Jesus comes again, we need to be able to protect ourselves. In Luke 22, 36, I believe Jesus said, he says, let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. And John's views appear to go down well with his congregation. When you're in a small church, it's important for the pastor to have uh, more accessibility than just being a figure on stage talking to you about what the Bible incorporates. And if you know John, then you know that he is passionate about firearms, you know that he's passionate about cooking, you know he's passionate about his family, and I, I love that about him. However, as John's wife Laura acknowledges, his passion for guns has not been to the taste of all worshippers. There have been some people that have left because they don't like his stance on guns, they don't like it being brought up ever in church, they don't like the fact that he'd go out to shoot with, with fellow members of the church. Laura grew up with a negative view of firearms, but changed her mind after John decided to buy a weapon for home defense. How do I feel when I'm shooting a gun? I feel very competent. I feel um, safe, but in a more protective way, I feel powerful against somebody that might try and hurt me. John, who has been licensed to carry a concealed firearm in Arizona since 2006, carefully restricts his children's access to firearms and only lets them use them under careful supervision. And the family regularly attend the local gun range. My friends at school and other places, they think guns are really dangerous and you should never own a gun. I think that you, it's okay to own a gun as long as you know how to use it and when it's okay to use it and where it's okay to use it. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's, you know, kind of hard to describe why it's fun. I mean, why do kids think tag is fun? It's just running around. I don't know. It's just fun. Um, you get to see what you did to the target. My friends at school, um, they don't really know that I have guns. We don't really talk about it much. But my friends at church, they're fine with it. They like guns. But yeah, my school friends don't really know. While high school shootings like Sandy Hook have created a backlash against gun ownership in parts of the states, they've made John even more determined to pass on his gun knowledge to his young family. But if you look at the murderer, the, the rampage that happened at Sandy Hook, that young man murdered his mother to steal her firearms, to then transport them in the cause of a felony, which is another felony, took them on a school campus, murdered 25 more people, and when did he stop? He stopped when the police cars pulled up. He took his own life because good men with guns were there to stop him. And as soon as they were, he stopped. A rifle in the hands of a good man is good. A rifle in the hands of an evil man is evil. So what does God think of guns? It's just a tool. And John will continue to spread his faith in God and firearms to his devoted flock. If you said, John, Jesus came and said, you give up your firearms today, and, and you can show me definitively that it's Jesus, I give him up because my commitment to Christ comes first. But I don't think he does. I think he says, John, you're a bearer of the image of God. And so protect that, protect it in smart ways. And firearms today are the best way to do that. Mm -hmm.